Hello and welcome to my training. My name is Chuck Holmes. I'm a network marketing professional. Today, we're going to talk about how to find customers for your network marketing business. As a quick disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. Individual results will vary, and this is just my opinion. So, customers. You need customers in your business. First and foremost, let's talk about the difference between direct sales and network marketing. Direct sales is when you just sell a product. Network marketing is where everybody uses the product everybody services a few customers and everybody recruits. So network marketing is about a lot of people doing a little bit. Direct sales is about one person doing a lot. If you're doing network marketing, I recommend that you strive to find and serve five to 10 customers. This is going to be your sweet spot. You want everybody on your team to have at least two customers, but ideally five to 10 before they go out and start recruiting. Because Getting customers puts immediate money in your pocket. It makes you profitable and you can't teach something you haven't done yourself. So get some customers. And what I want to do in the rest of this video is teach you how to do that. So I decided to put this information in a slide so you can kind of visualize this as you follow along with me. And these are 10 of my best tips to find customers. So number one, you want to identify your target market. If you sell vitamins, as an example, and your average vitamin is $15 or $20 that you sell, the last thing you want to do is reach out to someone who buys their vitamins at Dollar Tree or Dollar General uh, because they're never going to buy vitamins from you. You also don't want to talk or talk to or focus on people who don't take vitamins. You want to take some time and identify who is your ideal customer. What do they have in common? This is known as your target market. Every business has a target market. This is people who have the income to purchase products and services from you. And they have the desire to buy the types of products or services that you sell. So look at your current customer base. If you don't have any customers, talk with your coach, have them look at their customer base and try to get an idea of who would be your ideal customer. And then spend most of your time and energy on people in that target market. It doesn't mean you can't talk to other people too, but it just makes smart, it just makes smart business sense to talk to people in your target market. Number two. You got to learn how to sell. Some people will tell you this is about sharing. This is not about sharing. This is about selling. And no product really sells itself. All products are sold with a salesperson. Now, this does not mean you need to pressure people. There's no need to do that. You don't need to, to hype people up. You don't need to be overly enthusiastic, like over the top. But you do have to learn how to sell. And selling is just simply transferring your enthusiasm to someone else. It's solving someone else's problem. It's offering a solution to someone else's problem. As an example, if you f sell a weight loss product and your prospect tells you they want to look good for their 20 year high school reunion in three months from now, they want to lose some weight, then you can offer your product as a solution to looking good for their high school reunion in a few months from now. But learning how to sell is very important. There are tons of videos about this on YouTube. There are hundreds of books about sales. I recommend Zig Ziglar, Brian Tracy, Dan Kennedy. Any of those books are great. You want to be your own best customer. This is number three. Now, you don't have to use every product that your company makes. If it's a product that you wouldn't normally use, by all means, don't use it. But if your company makes a product, don't use a competitor's product. For example, if your company offers a hair gel, don't use another company's hair gel. Be your own best customer. The reason you want to use your products, the biggest reason is you want to build up your belief in the products. You want to get a good story, a good testimonial that you can share with other people. If you don't use your products, it's going to be hard to really know anything about them or have an experience with them that you can share with others. Number four, you want to use third-party tools and testimonials. Chances are your company has a website. Chances are they have some helpful YouTube videos about the product that you're trying to sell. There's probably some testimonials in your company's Facebook group or on their website that you can use. Make sure you're using these resources as part of your pitch because this takes the focus off of you and it puts the focus on a third-party tool, which kind of removes you from the selling equation, which is good. Next, you got to ask for the sale. And this is where a lot of people mess up. They can do a presentation they can share a website or a video or a link. They can talk about the features or benefits of a product, but they don't ask for the sale. So this is my little secret closing line. When I'm talking with the prospect at the end of the conversation, let's say my prospect's name is Sue. I would say, Sue, 
what questions do you need me to answer today before we get you started? And then I would pause and I would wait for Sue to respond. Or another example that I could use with Sue, I could say, you know what, Sue, based off our conversation, it sounds like product A would be the best fit for you. Would you like to order one bottle or two with your first purchase today? And then I would pause and I would wait. That's how you ask for the sale. There's no pressure involved. There's no hype involved, but you're leading people to a decision. Number five, excuse me, number six, demo the products. This is when you use a product in front of someone. So I'll just give you a, a little story. My first network marketing company 20 years ago was Amway. And we had several products that we could demo with people. We had a, a vitamin test that we did. We had a fruit punch drink that we mixed up. We had some snacks, some uh, protein bars that we sold, we cut up. And what we do is we demo the products in front of people so they could see them being used. They also got to sample them and we'll cover samples in, in a minute. But anytime you can demo a product in front of somebody, it's going to make a big difference. Number seven, use the products in public. When you're out and about living life, depending on what type of product or service your company has, use the products in public. Maybe take, if your company has a protein bar, have a protein bar for lunch at work one day. If your company has a coffee, then bring your coffee to work and make it there. I mean, you can use your products in public in many different instances. Next one, number eight, Facebook Lives and YouTube videos. This is one of the best ways to get more sales, to get more customers. You can do a demo of the products on a video or on a Facebook Live. You can do a testimonial. You can offer people a sample. You can share your experience using the product. You could interview people, some of your customers who've used your product and they enjoy it. You could read some testimonials out loud on a YouTube video or on a Facebook Live. But this puts you in front of your prospect and it's a video. So the prospect will be able to connect with you kind of like you are when you're watching this video. You get to see me, you get to hear me, you get to follow along with the slide, you, you form that connection. The next one is to leverage samples and samples are good. Not all products are good as a sample, but a lot of products are. I mean, it's hard to sample a vitamin. They could take it maybe one or two pills. They might see a result. They might not. If you have food, that's always a good sample. If you're doing like a weight loss shake or a coffee, those are good samples. But if your products are doable for samples, I highly recommend uh, you give out samples whenever possible. But only do that if you get the person's contact information first so that you can follow up with them. It does you no good to give out samples to 10 people and just hope they're going to buy and you don't have a way to follow up with them. And finally, number 10, one of the best ways is to ask for referrals. Ask every person you talk to for referrals. Ask every team member for referrals. Ask every customer for referrals. Ask every person who tells you no for referrals. If you get one or two referrals on average from every person you talk to, you'll never run out of prospects and you'll have an endless supply of new customers for your business. So customers are important. Network marketing is not just about selling a product, but you should have a couple of customers and you should teach your team to do the same before you go out and start building a team because this is gonna put some money in your pocket today. I hope you got some value from today's training. I'd appreciate if you checked out the links in the description box below this video. You can get access to some tips, tools, resources that I have for network marketers. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe on the channel. That will help us out a lot. If you'd like to learn more about the company that I work with, that's also in the links in the description box. I appreciate you watching the video. I hope you have a great day and be sure to check out my other videos too. I'll see you on the other side. Thank you, everybody.